Happy Wednesday, Jousters, April 29th. Here's what we've got for you today for the at-home fitness uh, workout. You're going to start with the at-home joust standard warm-up. Knock that out, get warm, get loose, get ready to rock and roll. After that, our workout today, a whole lot of work. Here's how it's going to work. You're going to start with two minutes of cardio. Then, after two minutes of cardio of your choice, right into an AMRAP 7. In the AMRAP 7, you're going to do 21 sit-ups. 15 dumbbell swings, nine dumbbell split lunge rows each arm. As many rounds as possible of that triplet, those three movements, in seven minutes. 21 sit-ups, 15 swings, nine split lunge rows each arm, then back to the top. Remember where you stopped at the end of that AMRAP 7? You're going to pick back up where you stopped in our second AMRAP 7. But as soon as you're done with the first AMRAP 7, stay with me. You're going to do three minutes of cardio this time, cardio of your choice. Plenty of options for you. I'll explain that when we get into the movement uh, demonstrations. After three minutes of cardio, we'll call that your intermission cardio, you're then going to do the same AMRAP 7, but start where you left off. So if you made it through half of your swings at the end of that last round, or when the AMRAP 7 was done, you'll pick back up with the swings, continue working through those three movements for another AMRAP 7. After this AMRAP 7, two more minutes of cardio of your choice. To summarize, two minutes of cardio, AMRAP 7, three minutes of cardio, AMRAP 7, finish with another two minutes of cardio. I think you got it. Let's talk about our goals for this workout. Have fun, move well as always. Uh, the goal for the cardio, I want you to pick something that gets your heart rate up, something that you can move for the entirety of the two minutes, entire three minutes, entire two minutes. Again, talking about jogging in place, jumping jacks, high knees, butt kicks, uh, burpees, inchworms, stair jogs, uh, jumping rope, um, something that gets you slightly uncomfortable but not completely down and out. Uh, yeah, good options for the cardio. Your goal every AMRAP 7 Let's try to shoot for like three to four rounds, three to four times through that list. If you get five rounds, I won't be mad, but if you're getting like one or two, the weight's probably too heavy. We need to scale it back just a little bit. You should be able to go unbroken, not breaking up uh, at all. should be able to go unbroken through the sets of dumbbell swings and unbroken on the split lunge rows each arm. You might have to break those rows up one time in the second AMRAP 7, but should have a weight that you could do like 12 to 15 unbroken while you're fresh. Uh, if you have the option to increase or decrease weight, that would be a good way to scale that back if you feel like you're not on pace to hit that three to four rounds or to go unbroken on the swings and the rows. All right, scaling options, I just said it. If you have the option, lighten the load uh, or increase the load if you're not on pace for our goals for the workout. Uh, if you don't have a dumbbell, let's use a kettlebell for the swings for the split lunge rows. If you don't have a kettlebell, let's use an odd object like a water jug, like uh, a textbook like a backpack, something that you can grip and row up and down. Um, our body weight option, if you don't have any equipment for this workout, uh, in place of the swing, so you could do good mornings using the hamstrings and the glutes, or you could do something a little more explosive like a tuck jump for each set of swings. Uh, in place of the rows, odd object is going to be your best option. I'm sure we can all find something, uh, a bag of, or a, a tub of dish soap, uh, something that we can grip and get creative with and pull up to our chest and back out. We can figure it out. All right. All right. That is your workout for today. Let's uh, go through some of these movement demonstrations so we're all on the same page. Uh, first options are cardio. If you take a look over here, I like to use my stairs for cardio quite a bit. Uh, we can do two things with the stairs. I can stay on my bottom stair, jog up, back down. You can do a minute leading with your right foot and then switch minute leading with your left foot. If you have stairs, you could also run up and down the stairs continuously for two minutes. Great options there. For the other options of cardio, like I said, we could do in place, high knees. We could do butt kicks. We could jog in place, jumping jacks, burpees. Care, get your heart rate up, get moving, get just a little uncomfortable. All right, let's talk about the AMRAP 7s, the three movements we have today. We've got sit-ups for the sit-ups. If you have an ab mat, use it. If you have a long mat, use it. If not, you'll be fine. 
mat supporting the tailbone. We're gonna go butterfly sit-ups, soles of our feet together. We sit back, hands to the floor, shoulders to the floor. We sit up with good posture and breathe out. To scale that, let's go feet flat on the floor to scale a little more. Let's lengthen the levers, legs straight. All good options for your sit-ups. Let's now talk about the dumbbell swings. Starting with that dumbbell out in front. I like to grip the bell underneath the end cap, not on the actual handle for these swings. It forces us to use our hips and to not rely too much on our grip. We hype toss, we hip thrust, the hips do the work. I am hinging my hips back, thrusting forward. If you watch from the side, my back stays flat and the bell stays above my knees, high on the thigh. Don't have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, let's go to a kettlebell. Don't have that. You could try to swing to the water jug. Don't have that. Options you could do would be good mornings, getting the hamstrings and glutes in there. Could also be a tuck jump. Jumping and tucking, landing soft every time. Last movement today, we've got the dumbbell split lunge rows. For the split, you're going to take a step out as if you were gonna do a lunge. With your dumbbell to the side, we're gonna get non-working arm, elbow just above the knee. I'm gonna grab that dumbbell with a nice flat back position. I'm gonna row up to my chest, take it back down. So this is forcing me to balance. It's forcing me to stabilize. It's forcing me to use my lat on that rowing arm. If you see my back foot there, my heel's off the ground. I've got a soft bend in the knee and I'm squeezing everything tight as I row up and back down. Nine on this arm, then we switch opposite leg in front, opposite arm on the knee, nice flat back, row up, back down, row up, back down. When you row, don't open up the shoulder. Try to stay squared ahead. Don't have a dumbbell, use a kettlebell, don't have that. Water jug will work pretty darn good. Or a backpack, something you can grip and row. All right, I think that covers everything for today. Have a great workout. Have a great Wednesday. I'll see you all again soon.